House MD is one of the greatest medical dramas of all time. And today I'll be breaking down the episode One Day One Room and telling you why it is one of the best of House MD. For anyone not familiar with the show, House MD revolves around Dr. Gregory House, a genius diagnostician who is able to solve the most complex medical cases no one else can. The caveat being that he's a complete asshole to his patients and his colleagues and will often push ethical and moral boundaries to get his answer. I knew you'd understand. However, the episode One Day One Room breaks this mold almost completely. The first major difference this episode leans into is the fact that there is no case. At least, not a case that House is remotely interested in. Due to a bet with Dr. Kadi, House encounters a young woman in the clinic. When he reveals she has an STD, she breaks into tears. Attempting to give her her meds, she suddenly lashes out at him. And that's when he realizes. I need someone to cover a patient. House, you committed to- She was raped. When Kadi tries to assign a new doctor to Eve, she insists on having House be her doctor. Problem is, he doesn't want to treat her. House nonchalantly says, the fact that you were raped holds no interest for me. It's nothing personal, there's nothing to treat, you're physically healthy. Unlike other episodes of the show, there is no underlying cause that requires House to stretch his brain muscles. There is no evidence to find, no theory to discuss, no solution to be had. In other words, it's medically boring. But just because there's no case doesn't mean there's no mystery. The mystery being why Eve insists on House being her doctor. Why do you want me? I don't know. FOR FUCK'S SAKE! Which leads us to the next point why this episode stands out amongst others in the series. House is out of his element. In previous episodes, House has always been in his comfort zone. Even in the face of the most mind-boggling cases, he is right where he wants to be. Problem solving, bossing people around, and then being rewarded for it. But here he has none of that. After a few attempts at trying to make small talk with Eve, she hits him with a question. A question that leaves House just as stunned as he was with other more complex cases in the past. And what is that question? Has anything terrible ever happened to you? On the surface, a very simple question. But to House, an egotistic, repressed, damaged junkie who keeps everyone at arm's length, an almost impossible question to answer. He goes to Dr. Wilson and tries to rationalize that Eve's questions may have ulterior motives. Wilson tells him that the answer is simple, she's looking to connect with you. He even goes to every member of his team to ask how exactly he's supposed to answer her. Which just goes to show how inept House is when trying to just be a human being. He decides to try lying to Eve but she reads him and calls him out on it right away. Just as House was about to give up completely, Cuddy delivers some bad news. I wasted their time. She's pregnant. And from here we get the one final difference that makes this episode an outlier amongst other House MD episodes. House chooses to be vulnerable. This news of Eve's pregnancy sparks a philosophical debate between the two of them due to House suggesting that she should abort the baby and Eve believing that abortion is murder. During their debate, Eve notes that House seems to like debating philosophy which he happily confesses he does. This mutual understanding finally disarms House and for the very first time we see him be gentle, empathetic, and understanding. He even extends some kindness to her by bringing her out for a walk. At the park, House asks once again why Eve chose him to be her doctor. Why did you choose me? There's something about you. It's like you her too. At this very moment, House discovers a companion, a person who sees right through his bullish facade. House finally opens up that as a child, he was abused by his dad. Whenever he would misbehave, he would be forced to sleep in the yard or take ice baths. Believe me when I say this, but this is monumental! Let me try explaining why exactly this answer is so mind-blowing for us the audience to hear. House's answer to Eve's earlier question of, has anything terrible ever happened to you? was not I got shot in the gut by a psychopath, not I lost the use of my leg and became a cripple, not I gave up on the only relationship that made me happy. It was my father abused me, which speaks volumes and really gives us some great insight into House's psyche. 
Mwah. And with this genuine display of vulnerability, Eve finally opens up to him about what happened to her. Back at the hospital, Kadi commends House and tells him that Eve is now sharing her story and is subsequently getting discharged. Where House would usually make a joke about how he was right or make an offhand comment about how amazing Cuddy's boobs are, instead he's uncharacteristically reflective and somber about the news. He laments, we drag, drag out her story, story tell, tell each, each other, other that will help her heal, feel, feel real good about ourselves, ourselves. but all we've done, done is make, make a girl, girl cry. I admit I didn't really understand this at first. I thought how surely sees the good he's done for Eve, right? Why is he discrediting himself? And then I found a review from January 31st, 2007, a day after this episode aired, and it completely changed how I saw this final scene. House wasn't talking about Eve. He was talking about himself. Cuddy and Wilson were telling him all episode long, have some humanity, House. It'll help you heal. So House does just that connect with another person. And at the end of it, all that's happened is he's resurfaced the painful part of his past which only makes him feel worse. But all we've done is make a man sadder. House MD was one of the best shows on the air back in 2007, along with another show that was airing at the same time, Smallville. If you want to know how good that show was, start watching right here. Bye!